I want you to imagine a super hot day. You're outside, sweating your you-know-what off, and it's, you're super, what happens when you're hot and you're outside? You're super, super thirsty. You start to feel weak and lightheaded. And when you're feeling that way, the only thing that can quench your thirst is water, right? You think about, you know, getting that thirst taken care of. Today, in both the first reading and the gospel, we hear about people who thirst. In the first reading, people crying out in the desert to Moses for water. They're wondering why they brought them to this forsaken place. They need water. And God provides. Jesus in the gospel meets up with the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman at the well. It's a hot day. He is thirsty. He's asking this woman to drop some water. And while thirst is a natural part of our daily lives, in the scriptures, thirst means something else. Thirst means a deep longing a deep longing, a need to be in union with God. Our bodies naturally hunger and they thirst, but we also have to realize that our souls are also hungering and thirsting. So it makes perfect sense when we think about it that the church teaches us from the old Baltimore Catechism. Does anyone remember the old Baltimore Catechism? It says in the Old Baltimore Chasm Catechism, the reason why we were created. Does anyone remember why it said in the Old Baltimore Catechism, the reason why we were created by God? Does anyone remember? Deacon's telling me right now. To love, to serve, and to know God in this life so that we can be with God forever in the next life to know, to love, and to serve God in this life so that we can be with God forever in the next life. So if we're not doing this, we're not striving to fulfill this purpose of knowing God, loving God, and serving God, then our soul will feel a lack. Our soul will be filled with thirst. There'll be an emptiness in our hearts if we're not knowing God or serving God or loving him. Through history, the human experience is that we want to be full. You know, we always want to be full. I remember uh, one of the things I love the most is pizza. Father Dindo loves his pizza. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in front of a big, awesome pizza, especially Lou Malinati's, all I want to do is fill up my belly with that pizza so much. And you know, when you're eating pizza, it's weird how this happens. You don't even realize it, but you're stuffing yourself and trying to finish more than you can, and your belly gets so big, and you only stop when it starts to hurt, right? That pizza craving will not stop until you are satisfied. But we know that being happy and satisfied after having pizza, you know, that's not going to make you truly happy. You know, you're going to want Portillo's next, right? <laughs> or whatever else, a milkshake or dessert. Tiramisu is what I had for lunch. While we have these physical needs that occupy much of our attention, we also have that longing for something beyond our appetites that can only be satisfied by something much bigger than ourselves. We have to realize that then that the only we can be happy when we're unified with our God and God is the only thing, right, that can satisfy and fulfill us. St. Mary, turn to God with all your heart. Know the love and the beauty of God in your life, and you will be saved. Just like the woman at the well. When she turned to God and saw that he was God and knew that he was God because she knew her through and through, her whole life changed. She no longer wanted to be known as that sinful woman with five husbands. She was now a woman spreading the gospel, spreading the word of Jesus. He is the living water, telling everybody 
Lives can be converted, like that woman in the well. The moment she encountered Jesus, you know, he looked into her soul, and again, he satisfied every need that she had. Jesus is what our souls are longing for, and our Jesus is longing for your soul. Jesus wants you. Jesus wants all of you. Give to Jesus all of you. More of your time, more of your life, and you will receive grace upon grace upon grace. Drink from the well of Jesus' love. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord.